Tanqua Artscape 2023. My name is Gina van der Plug. Um, I am a fiber artist and I'm based in Cape Town. So when I'm not in Tanqua, I spend a lot of my time harvesting and growing fibers, weaving. Um, I use mostly waste materials in my practice or fibers that I can either grow myself or harvest um, from Ca like the surrounding areas in Cape Town. And I also use a lot of invasive plants in my practice. What brought you here? You are here the second time, right? Mm, mm. So what you brought you here first and mm. then make you repeat the experience? For the last residency, um, it was the first residency I ever attended. So that was really amazing. It was, it was my first ever experience being kind of in a community where you're fully supported to just make work um, and do your thing for, for two full weeks. Um, and so for me, everything, everything was new the last time I came um, and wonderful and exciting. And I, you know, I'm from Cape Town. I've spent a lot of time in the Karoo, in the Cedarburg, which on the mountains surrounding this area. Um, and so it's always been an area that kind of that is quite special to me and so there was no kind of question that I wanted to come back and I met my collaborator Yetta um, in, uh, at the last residency and we both just kind of had this fire in our bellies to return and to make something together so it's our first it's our first collaboration and I think the Tanqua is just the perfect, perfect environment that's both kind of harsh but also endlessly giving for us to for us to experience and navigate and play with this first collaboration. So you're saying you have a co-creator this time. What is the difference for you if you work on your own on a specific project? when you work with someone else mm -hmm. on the same thing? For me, the biggest difference is, is the energy. I, I think that when you're two people, you, you almost have three times as much energy as, as one person by yourself. And that's you're constantly feeding off each other. Um, whenever, there's, whenever there's a dip or um, a stumble, in one person the other just seamlessly kind of picks it up and so for me it's this f almost this feeling of um, being carried but also being able to really immerse and work hard because you know you have you have someone who has your back and it's it's a constant learning process um, yet a Yetta is, is a basket maker. She's a trained basketry weaver and, and I weave on a loom. So there's a lot of crossover, but there's so much that I can and have learned from her just in the last week. And that's also very energizing. Is the process different? Yes. So she's, she's much more familiar working with kind of stronger, thicker fibers. Um, whereas I'm, I'm more familiar with the threads and the soft, the soft things. And so she knows a lot about structure and a lot about kind of strength and how to, how to build something up. Um, which has always been a challenge for me because my, my kind of woven pieces they need to be held up by something, whether it's stuffing or wire or hung, whereas she builds that kind of strength into her structure with her fibers. So besides having this uh, co-creator with you, what is different the second time? I mean, it's it's a completely different group of artists. So there's always going to be a 
different rhythm um, and different energies and it's wonderful last year's group of artists was incredible this year's group of artists is just as incredible and in completely different ways the other thing that's that's different for me this year is I'm in quite a different place in my life personally I think that I'm able to receive different things from the people around me and from the Tankwa itself. So the Tankwa, as you were saying, you were in this area uh, quite often. What does this landscape, what does it do to you? The, the dryness, the intensity, the intensity of the environment kind of like breeds such wonder in me looking at looking at what survives and what thrives here and and then also being able to you almost you scale back to like a minimum of what you need um, in your day and you kind of you have to think quite cleverly about how you create I also feel that there are few spaces this this vast um, that we have access to as as people there they're kind of bustling cities and bustling happening things everywhere and here there's a there's a different pace um, there's a different slowness a kind of underlying energy that the land really kind of gives to you mm. when you're here so how does your work, what you do this year, relate to the landscape? Yetta and I, we, came, we had a plan and that plan has shifted as, as it always does in the Tankwa. But we were always interested in these rock shelter structures built by the San, we think, thousands of years ago. And these exist on the neighboring in the Tankwa National um, Reserve and they're made from rocks and they sit kind of on this this river bank and when you lie down in them the wind goes from rushing past your ears to completely still and we were very inspired by that this very sensitive and almost you you, you could miss them if you didn't know they were there way to just kind of manipulate the elements to make your, a structure for yourself a shelter for yourself to make things a bit more comfortable and so we've kind of taken that structure and we're working on two different two different sculptures with different materials one kind of these cotton tubes filled with sand and then the other will be willow um, that yet has brought from Belgium via Denmark woven with the grasses that grow here in the Tankwa. And what will it be a sculpture or can you say a little bit more or yeah. are you still hesitant because it's not done and you want to wait until it's done? <laughs> no I'm happy to speak. So we've used the the oval it's kind of an oval semicircle that these rock shelters, um, the form that these rock shelters take, and we've we've taken that that form, and then slightly molded it to fit the two sites that we are building our sculptures on. So they will be these sort of oblong structures that you can very comfortably lie in, to perhaps three people, curled up. Some of them, you're in some positions, you could be a bit. Um, more stretched out so that that's the kind of shape that they will take so are you so far happy with your journey here so happy I, I'm so happy with with the work that yet and I have done but also the time that we've spent together I mean she lives in Denmark and I'm in Cape Town so we speak on the phone and it's completely different to be able to sit down and weave something, stitch something, cover something in clay together. That's been a joy and I've learned so much and we've gotten into a really good 
rhythm of working together and supporting each other. The last thing. Mm. If you would have five words to mm. describe the landscape here, mm. what are these five words? You mentioned a few already, but... Mm. Generous. Responsive. Harsh. Expansive. And textured. Wonderful. Mm. One more thing. If you would have an advice for for artists who want to join, what would be your advice? I think you need to you need to do your research. You need to understand the history of of the Tankwa and of this farm specifically. And also understand that this residency and the space um, is not about imposing or dictating or it's about giving and kind of engaging and really being receptive to your work shifting and to building relationships with other people. I think that a strong proposal is is one that really speaks to that can't be made anywhere else it needs to be made here it needs to be situated here that would be a strong proposal thank you